I would have loved to have been on a board like this when I was first learning park because it's so playful and forgiving. What's up guys, Mike Layton, snowboard expert here at Curated.com. Today I just rode the 2022 LibTech Box Knife. First off, I am not sponsored by any brands, so any reviews, opinions you hear from me, totally unbiased. I really just want to get you on the best gear. Overall, this board is a great park board, especially for someone that is looking to get into the park. It features LibTech C3 profile, which has a mild rocker in between the feet, and camber extending out and has a little bit of rocker in the uh, nose and the tail. The board also features magnet traction, which helps make that turn initiation super easy. Overall, you know, it's, it's playful. Like a lighter or smaller rider or someone just getting into the park they likes to play all over the mountain, this board could be perfect for them. This board is actually pretty stable at speed. I didn't feel as locked in on turns as I kind of wanted, but once you got that board fully flat based, I think we hit uh, like 60 miles an hour. And it was pretty stable, wouldn't arc a huge turn on it at that speed, but flat base, it's definitely got that. It's definitely pressable. This board really performs well in pretty much any conditions. It was kind of surfy, it hit some bumps. It was pretty fun in the bumps, actually. On the groomer, it was, it was super stable and it was fun to slash and hit some side hits. I don't think it has a ton of pop, but it's got enough. I think it's a great board. I, I didn't take it in the park. It is definitely a park board, but it's also a great all mountain board. So, you know, I was really feeling locked and loaded on my carves and, you know, side hits were feeling good. It definitely felt a little heavy just because, you know, it is a bigger board for me, but all in all, it, it felt good out there. It's, it's definitely a medium flex, so it's not too stiff and it's not too soft. It's kind of like a perfect medium. Carves great, actually. I, I, I haven't really rode many lib techs, but it was great. It, I felt like I could really hold an edge and could really get low with my carves and maybe just it being such a bigger board, I had you know such great stability on it. I think with it being such a big board for me, it would have been great at top speed. You know, if I would have been on a smaller board, I'm not too sure, but all in all, it felt really stable and I felt like I had a lot of control under my feet. I don't think it would be my go-to POW board, but I think with, you know, six inches or so, I think you could totally have fun on this, uh, but I wouldn't choose it as like my POW board for out here in Colorado. But I think, you know, this size for the right person would be awesome in the park. One thing I will say, if you are a bigger or more aggressive rider, this board I, I wouldn't, I'd steer you away from. I'd, I'd look to find something a bit stiffer. I really think this would be a great board for that intermediate rider who is looking to get into the park, or maybe it's that park rat that is like looking to get outside the park a little bit with that, that little bit of rocker up here and the rocker between the feet. It makes that turn initiation super easy so you can butter around, press, spin. And with the magnet traction, it makes that turn initiation really easy. So if you're just starting out and you're getting used to, you know, your S turns and really getting more comfortable and exploring more terrain, that magnet traction is gonna be great. I would have loved to have been on a board like this when I was first learning park, because it's so playful and forgiving. I would say intermediate to advanced riders that are looking for a good park board, but also a board that can handle outside of the park and not, you know, not feel squirrely and, you know, all wonky out there and can hold. I think, you know, this would be a great board for steeper terrain as well. I would tell beginners to probably avoid this board. It's just, you know, it's pretty stiff and it might be a little hard for them to learn their turns and kind of lock everything in. If you want to find the best gear for your next adventure, go to curator.com, either find my profile or get matched with an expert to find the perfect gear for your next adventure. And if you like what you see and want to see more awesome content from us, hit that subscribe button, whether that's here, 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 or there, there, I don't know.